Hi guys, I'm Jen. Welcome to Be Set Free. So I want to talk to you quickly today and just introduce some ideas about um, when a narcissist goes on the attack, when a narcissistic society goes on an attack. Um, you know, it can get really confusing um, when a narcissist goes on the attack because like when we first met the narcissist, we had no idea that they were on the attack of the previous fuel supply before us, right? So when we met them, no doubt they told you their life story in um, a matter of hours the first time you talked to them. And that included um, their ex, probably ex-wife, ex-husband, um, to a big degree. Uh, smearing them and then it definitely included uh, their other relationships especially the last one they just had and no doubt they um, told you uh, a bunch of nasty things about them and how they were the victim of them that they were with a narcissist that is especially if you know about narcissists and stuff like that and and they have an inkling about it they will say the other person was a narcissist. If you don't know anything about narcissists and they have the feeling that you're just naive to that, they won't bring up the word, no way, not until later, not until way later when the abuse is hot and heavy. So anyways, but they will smear the other person, right? And we're like, wow, oh my gosh, I am so sorry that happened to you. Like, let me fix it, <laughs> right? So, you know, I'm seeing this also mirrored in society where you have um, you have some people doing some pretty amazing things um, from the bottom of society up to, and not the bottom, I don't like to rate people like that, but from everyday common citizens, let's say that, all the way up to the top in leadership, all in between, there's some people doing really amazing things. And then there's and that's not to say they're perfect people but if you look at their fruit they're doing really good things we can't deny it if you know the truth you can see what they're doing it's really good um you can see what they've done that's where we need to look to discern somebody we need to see what they've done in their life right so then you have other people coming against them who you have the smear campaign happening right where <clears throat> You have people who just want to be in power, who have an agenda, who want things to go a certain way. And with good people doing good things, it's it's leading the whole ship in a different di direction than what these other people want it to go, right? Um, so those people that see that good is happening and um, rules are being followed and um, um, people are being following the law in certain ways um, and good things are happening, right? People are prospering and the other side doesn't want that because they want control and they have an agenda and it's evil. So they start saying nasty things about total, complete lies, total fiction, 100% made up, just like the narcissist does, about the other side, the good side, the people who are like have good hearts and good intentions and want to see the best for us. Um, they just make up blatant lies. And in fact, you can see how the things that they're accusing the good people of, they are doing. <laughs> it's like, a huge narcissistic play or movie playing out before our very eyes. Can you see it? We must discern, okay? Because the most the most sad thing is is when good is called evil and evil is called good. And we have to resist that, right? We have to resist that. We've been so abused. Maybe since childhood, we've been so neglected since childhood, we are coming out of the fog. We're realizing that toxic is toxic and good is good. Instead of being in a life where 
toxic felt right and we didn't know and right felt toxic, right? Well, we're coming out of that into a world where this is now playing out in such a huge way. And I can only tell you that it's not because we've come to this understanding. It's because God, I mean, that's part of it, but God is revealing and God, the days are short. I'm not saying that Jesus is coming or the end of the world is coming in our lifetime, but I know that we are, I mean, compared to the how old the world is and, and all that, we are in the very, very, very last days and God is revealing, okay? God is revealing and he is, he's kind of like taking the blinders off of our eyes and I wanna be an ad advocate for that because I feel God saying, to his people, me and you, discern what is happening. Do not listen to the news. Do not listen to smear campaigns. Do not listen to people who wanna take you down a rabbit trail of totally bashing other people. Always get the facts about people whether it be your abuser, whether it be people you're meeting, anybody who comes into your life and they are a complete victim and they're bashing somebody else, always, always get the facts, okay? Stop, slow down, don't let your heart go into empathy mode right away and that's hard for us empaths because we, we feel empathy, you know? And these people know that. And instead of them treasuring that and honoring that, they use that to use us, okay? They use that to brainwash us because these other people who do that, all they want is their agenda fulfilled. And that, my friends, is not only what has happened in our relationships, but that is exactly what's happening in society right now. The reason why I can say that with 100% certainty, and obviously I've waited quite a long time to say this to be sure, is I have been watching and getting the facts this entire time, okay? This whole year I've learned a lot. And instead of listening to people, instead of listening to news, even news from people that are supposedly unbiased, they still are biased, but they're biased for the truth. And the reason why I figured that out is because I am listening to, uh, while I'm working all day, I have my own business and I have my, my um, cell phone on and I'm listening to the actual House Senate Congress um, presidential and all the other actual meetings that are happening. I'm listening to what's actually being said and I listen to no interpretation from any news media when it comes to the press questioning. I listened to that for a while, but I started just to see what they would question the person about. And I started noticing a pretty evil theme and they were twisting things. And they were saying that people said this when they didn't say that. They were like making up stories about what I just heard was said. That's brainwashing and that's gaslighting, and these people are flying monkeys, okay? We've had enough of that in our life. We have, and we don't need to be doing that in our normal everyday life where we're just trying to live. We live in society. We don't wanna be going around listening to these people in society. We need to heal from this abuse, okay? So please, please, for your mental health, Distance yourself from listening to people's interpretations or people's um, conspiracy theories as to what's about to happen because there's a lot of that going on right now too. Only listen to the information you get that is factual to stay in reality. And if you find a news, there, I list, there's two, two news that I listen to and they are not mainstream news and they are only, they broadcast the actual meetings that are happening because TV won't do it now. They don't broadcast everything and they only broadcast it and they do not give any commentary 
And then the other one I listen to is he only reports on the facts. He doesn't say, well, I think this is what's going to happen next, or I think this is what's going to happen next, or, or I think this is what he really meant when he said that, or I think, you know, there's none of that. It's only factual news. And um, I'm happy if you want to know who that is, if you don't already know, um, just email me at besetfreefromabuse at gmail.com, all one word. And um, I'm happy to email you that name. I don't want to say it on YouTube. Everybody's being censored. I may have already said words that will censor me, but I don't think so. <laughs> um, I think that it's super important that we heal completely from narcissistic abuse, that we heal completely um, as much, you know, healing completely, that'll probably happen when we get to heaven, okay? But we can heal as complete as we possibly can. We can stay on the journey of healing and waking up to the truth and reality, right? Of what happened to us, of um, our mental thoughts and why we think the things we do, why we do the things we do, where that originated, you know, where it came from, Um and heal, you know, even heal from backwards, like childhood up until today, even heal from today back into childhood, the whole thing, front, frontwards, backwards, all of it, okay, we need to heal from all of it, and there's good people in this life that want to come alongside you, and just like, um, I want to come alongside you and I want you to come alongside me and let's stick together on this journey. There's not a lot of warriors. There's a lot of people who um, want to know the truth but give up. There's a lot of people that are happy of staying in half-truth fantasy land. There's a lot of people who want to stay um, with an evil mindset. It's easier. It's easier to stay with an evil mindset. It's easier to just um, blame everybody else. It's easier to be selfish, right? It's easier. Well, I don't want what's easy, and neither do you. We want what's right and true and good and pure, okay? So anyways, I just wanted to pop on here, say what I was thinking. I um, often think in the shower <laughs> and hear what the Lord has to say. And um, I want to make videos, but I'm soaking wet. I'm just going to do it now. You know, um, as you can tell, I'm not a glam girl. <laughs> I would like to be, but I just don't. I'm, it's my next level, maybe. I don't know. You, you women who are so beautiful and you get your makeup done and your hair is perfect. And I just, I admire you. And someday I will do that. But for now, this is what you get. You get the raw gen. So anyways, I'll talk to you very soon. Have a good day. Please like. Please um, comment if you, just anything. Hey, Jen, hi. Um, so, and comment and talk to other people in the comments. That would be great. Okay? So anyways, be blessed. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon.